Hey, how you doing today? My name is Relia, and thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're playing Hollow Knight, and I want to show you how to find this guy right here, Tuck. And as you can tell, he is in the Royal Waterways. We're going to start off right here in the City of Tears at the City Storerooms. Now we're going to make our way down to the Royal Waterways. This is just the closest stag station to the Royal Waterways, so you don't necessarily have to start out right here, but... This is going to be the quickest way for me. Just keep making your way all the way down to the right. And we're moving a little bit faster because we've got the Sprint Master and Dash Master. Super helpful charms if you're just trying to explore and get around real fast. So for me, Tuck was one of those NPCs that I had seen in other people's videos, but I had never actually encountered him myself. And so I decided to make this video to show you when I actually did find him. So once we make our way here, we're going to head over to the right. right here is obviously the entrance to the Royal Waterways. We can head over to the right. And here we are on the map. And we can just jump to the very top right of this room. And you can see this wall has a crack in it right here. So I mean, it's baiting you to open up this door. So even if you were to just get this geo, you'd find your way. And at the end of this dark tunnel, we find Tuck. Hmm, don't take something if it isn't yours. That's the law. Everything you see, it belongs to me. <laughs> it's funny that th for the law, everything belongs to him. Don't be angry. I'll share my food with you if you give me Geo. 92? Dang. Geo is mine now. Don't try and take it back. Here, take your food with you when you leave. He just tosses the food right on the ground, just like that. And so Tuck is essentially a rancid egg vendor, and you can kind of keep going back to him and get more and more food if you'd like. Ah, this time 83. So he sells rancid eggs for anywhere from 80 to 100 Geo. And if we dream nail her, I'll find you again. The water will bring you to me. I just need to keep searching and praying. When we meet again, I want you to say... That you're sorry. Interesting. So, I'm not going to lie. I don't fully understand the lore behind Tuck, but I do remember seeing Tuck in some uh, some videos by... Did Mossbag ever do a video on this? What is cool is if you're wearing the Defender's Crest, just like that, and we head back over to Tuck. It turns out that Tuck, much like the Leg Eater, really enjoys the smell of the Defender's Crest. So if we make our way all the way back here, and come talk to Tuck, you smell, are you a friend too? You're a friend, I'll share my food with you. When you see him again, our friend, tell him thank you for helping me. And just like that, Tuck will give you a free rancid egg. But only one, and then after that, you have to start paying for him again. As far as lore goes behind Tuck, Tuck is there searching for a currently unknown character hoping that they will offer their apologies for getting lost, which I don't understand. Some people speculate that it might be an item that Tuck lost and not necessarily a character. And then also just with the smell of the Defender's Crest making Tuck think that uh, you're a friend, some people have been speculating that it might actually be the Dung Defender who is Tuck's long lost friend. Who knows, it's really really hard to tell just based off of this. Uh, note that in Steel Soul Mode, Tuck is infected and can't be bargained with for eggs, and that's probably likely because if Tuck was giving you eggs for Geo, you could then sell those eggs to Steel Soul Jin, and you'd essentially have unlimited Geo. So it's just kind of sad to know that Tuck is actually passed away 
in the Steel Soul mode. Also note that uh, Tuck will not offer a rancid egg if the knight has 80 or more eggs in their inventory. And I don't know how in the heck you would get 80 or more eggs in your inventory. They're not the easiest thing in the world to come by. I mean, you just have to sit here and just buy them over and over and over again in order to get more than 80 in your inventory. So... In the official comic book, Coral comes across a bug similar to Tuck, but with a different outfit on, and the bug refers to itself as Boone. So this could be the person that Tuck is searching for, but we don't really know. There's not a whole lot of uh, connections that we can put here. Based on the comic book, it looks so close to Tuck that it could be Tuck, and Tuck just forgot who they were, just because we know that memory works kind of funky when you leave the area. There we go. So there's Tuck and a little bit of lore. If you want to see even more secret things in Hollow Knight, go ahead and click on the short playlist over on the left-hand side. Otherwise, click on the video on the right-hand side. YouTube says that's what's best for you. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Relia, and I'll talk to you again more soon.